Right flame. Right fire. Red is the color of desire. Light the flame. Bright the fire. Red is the color of desire. Light the flame. Bright the fire. Red is the color of desire. Well, I think a great deal of the witchcraft that the public is involved with and that they see is really just a form of perversion, sexual perversion on the part of the participants. I don't think it has anything to do with witchcraft. Where is the true witchcraft? I think the true witchcraft stems back into uh, the Dark Ages when uh, man was very much involved in trying to um, assert himself in his environment and uh, the witches of the past were involved in helping people with uh, medicinal uh, activities, herbs and so on. I think that's what true witchcraft is. You described yourself as a rational witch. Uh, well, as rational, I think, as any creative individual can hope to be. I don't consider myself uh, completely normal. I realize I'm abnormal, but I think of myself as intelligent, and I don't have um, an attitude of wishing to um, invade other people's privacy with wild predictions as some of the psychics do. I'm not too terribly interested in that. Unfortunately, if you're in the public eye and you don't make predictions, you're considered a phony. You can be psychic as hell all of the time, but if you don't make a prediction about an earthquake or who's going to be the next president, you're not, um, you're not running out front. <laughs> You've written several books which have been very successful, and now you have a record album out about uh, seduction through witchcraft. Yeah. This mm -hmm. seems to be very profitable field. Oh, it's very profitable for me, but then I think I probably would have had um, a good vocation if I was a witch or not a witch. You know, it doesn't really matter, does it? If you write, you write. Being a witch is a personal thing for me. It's the way I live my own private life. It's the way I attack my problems, my situations, my involvements. Can you give us an example of that, how it would differ from, say, a normal person or some well, non -witch? a normal, okay, I think like a normal woman, if she was after someone and was uh, wanting to interest him, would go about in all of the very normal ways of uh, dressing attractively, making up properly, uh, trying to please him, a witch, being abnormal, will um, get hold of a red candle and um, gaze into the flame and attempt to attract him, sometimes at distances of 8, 10, 12, 15,000 miles, um, by projecting herself, her psychic self, into his environment and drawing him back to her. The trick is to trigger the subconscious, and I learned to trigger it with the flame of a candle. Abnormal, but it works for me. Hand me a candle. <laughs> <laughs>